Hi. So, I've been going through Freedom of Motion for a project recently, and as I was going through the docs, I came across this component called Animate Trade Layout. It seemed useful for my own project I was working at. And so, one of the things I had a problem with was I didn't really understand what was going on. So, I was looking at the examples, and they looked really nice. And so I tried to look up, and I wasn't exactly sure what this description was saying. So animate layout changes across and between multiple components. And if you look down, you can see that animate trade layout component enables you to perform these layout animations. And that's one thing that I was curious about. What is these layout animations? And it turned out the link was heading back to nowhere. So I did a little bit of research playing around with the examples, and I think I've gotten a bit more of an understanding of what's happening in the component. So I'd like to share that with you. And so the big part of it is the layout. And once you understand the layout, you'll understand layout animations. And from what I've gathered, layout animations are, or layout is anything that's related to the DOM in terms of like the sizing. So you could think of the CSS box model, for example, where they have the content, the size of the content, the padding and the border. And so a layout animation is just animating those values. So animating the height from zero to a hundred. And the big, so now that we've understand what layout is, or I think that gives us a little bit more context on what's actually happening inside the animate shared layout component. And so inside the shared layout, you'll see that there's this prop called layout. And what that does is for any component inside the animate shared layout component, layout is the way for um, is almost is a signal for components to send out to other components in better children of the animate shared layout, no matter how deep in the tree, to do a layout animation. And so you'll see that the things that are changing here, let me open this up a little. The things that are changing here are the size of the container, as well as the size of this container over here. So the item. And I think the best way to understand what's happening is if we take out the components themselves. So if we take out animate shared layout here, you remember what animate shared layout is doing. It's allowing components that have the layout component or the layout prop signal to any other component inside the tree to do a layout animation. And so without the animate shared layout present, you'll notice that when you click any of the items inside, the container that contains all the items just happens to bounce from the size of when it's not when an item is not expanded and to when an item is expanded. So it just turns to the full size of what the difference between this um, with no content inside to with content, and you can see it for every change here. And so when we put it back in, you'll see that the change that's happening, the layout animation, which in this case is the height, is now being animated. So it's now being animated smoothly. And so another thing that I want to point out here is prop layout itself. What happens if we take out this prop and so if we take out the prop of layout in the component or in the container component, you'll notice that it's just not being, it's not changing at all. So the pro what's happening here is that the state of the items inside the container are changing and they have the layout, so they're being animated. But the container itself does not have the layout, so it's not getting the signal. 
from any of the components to say, hey, we're changing. And so it's not changing itself at all. So let's put it back. And if we remove this layout from an item, you'll notice that there is the container here with the content. But once again, this layout, I think what's happening is that when there's no layout, it just won't um, size itself at all. And so that's why there's no height change that's happening either. And so the content is being inserted, but the component itself is not getting any signal to change. So that is why this is happening. Let's put it back. Last one, let's just check out this div. So the avatar here, so the little circle. What happens if we change it? It doesn't animate its position inside. So it stays the same, and now the component is broken. And so hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an understanding of what happens in Animate Shared Layout. And yeah, it's, I think it's a good idea to try and recreate this component um, itself and see what and have a more intuitive understanding of what the layout prop and the animate shared layout component does.